and I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Tonight we are talking about New Madrid. We are talking about the earthquake that happened in 1811-1812. I have talked about this in the past. We are talking about this because it is wakening and it is coming. And if you're new to the channel, please give this a like. Please give this a share. Please give this a thumbs up. It only takes a second. doesn't cost you a dime. And without further ado, and it all started years ago. The first time people really knew there was three main shocks that happened happened in 1811 through 1812. So the first earthquake to hit was a 7.5 that occurred about 215 in northeast Arkansas on December 16th, 1811. The second principle was the shock M73 occurred in Missouri on January 23rd, 1812. And the third M75 on February 7th, 1811, along the Real Foot Fault in Missouri and Tennessee, the earthquake ground shaking was not limited to these principal main shocks, and there is evidence for a fairly robust aftershock sequence. The first and the largest aftershock occurred December 16th, 1811, about 7.15. These three events are believed to range between 6.0 and 6.5, the aftershocks. And this is crazy, ladies and gentlemen, because they also said there was 1,800 aftershocks of 3.0 to 4.0 during the same period, and people were flipping out because they were scared to death. They never thought that the ground would shake as much as it did, and it did. And the earthquakes were felt all the way up to Boston, Massachusetts from New Madrid. So they were saying that the shaking caused sand boils, rivers, banks to fail, landslides, and shrunken land. And also it said that the Mississippi actually ran backwards during this time. So this is very, very scary stuff, ladies and gentlemen. They had several big earthquakes, like four of them. And the thing is, is today the earthquake has woken. The majority of them happen right here on the New Madrid fault line and today is no different. As we scoot in today you have two of them right here. Poplar Bluffs, Missouri. There was a 4.0 22 hours ago and then there was also a 2.15 and then you have all these minor ones that are right along the fault line here that are, are starting to flare up. Now these are weak compared to the 4.0 but then there was a followed by an aftershock of a 2.5 so things could start to ramp up and there's people out there that really believe that this is going to happen sooner than later and this is not a good situation so there you have it i want to talk about that they said that if we scoot out that people in kansas city felt it people down here felt it people in st louis felt it and people over even in louisville felt it people down in memphis felt it as well today so if you were in these areas and you're a viewer of mine let me know if you felt it i live in between st louis and springfield over here somewhere and I did not feel it. I was closer to St. Louis as I worked down here, and I did not feel it whatsoever. So there you have that. I'm just wondering what you guys think. This 1811, is this thing ramping up? Is this thing going to be firing back up? Are we going to have the Mississippi run backwards again? Is it going to happen in New Madrid? Is it going to happen over here? You got the Appalachian Mountains, and you got the Ozark Plateau, and is it going to happen there? And then also in the 1811 earthquake, they had chimneys being knocked down in Cincinnati, Ohio, and all the way over in Boston, they had church bells ringing that far away from here to here. That's how far away those were ringing. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to point this out that things are starting to get dicey and it could be the beginning of something. We'll just have to wait and see like always. So with that, you guys have a blessed day. We will see you on the next one. God bless.